The Audi S8 is a four-door, full-size luxury vehicle manufactured and marketed by the German automaker Audi with sitting for five passengers. It is the flagship of the Audi brand. Today, I'm proudly to present to you the all-new 2017 Audi S8 Plus. The S8 Plus is a high-performance version of the Audi A8 and it is the most powerful vehicle in its class. With 605 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque under the hood, it offers a staggering quick acceleration that pushes you into the seat, handles more like a car's half its size, with cutting-edge technology features that keep you connected. The Audi S8 Plus also features the legendary quarter all-wheel drive system that comes standard on all Audi S8. The confidence-inspiring grip of the quarter all-wheel drive system transferred the power to the wheels that need it the most to help maximize traction and handling performance on nearly any roads, plus the available sport differential that helps you grab hold on every corner. Now, some standard equipment included with the Audi S8 Plus are 21-inch wheels, full matrix LED headlights, a power sunroof, dual pane glass and acoustic and brake resistant side windows, heated and ventilated front seat with massaging function, 4 zone automatic climate controlled, front and rear parking sensor, 22 way power adjustable front seat, navigation system and many other features. I'll show you all of them as we go over the car. So the new 2017 Audi S8 also come available with the dynamic package. It gives the Audi S8 the performance of a lifetime that boasts lightweight front and rear Audi ceramic brakes with anthracite gray caliber, a carbon fiber rear lip spoiler, a sport exhaust system with black exhaust outlets, and an increased top track speed of 190 miles per hour. So here we have the sticker to the car. As you can see, all the standard and optional equipment that comes with this vehicle. So base price is started from 115900 with all the optional equipment added, it comes up to be at $119, $175, and that's including destination charges. Up front, the first thing you'll notice is the lightning that helped accentuate the Audi A8, full automatically LED headlights with strikingly new design LED daytime running lights, as well as LED turn signal light. Very cool looking headlights. High intensity retractable headlight washer as well as park assist are also built into the front bumper. In the middle is the newly refreshed Audi single frame grille with chrome accents. And there is the Audi 4 ring logo in the middle as well as the S8 badging on the grille. Front surround camera is located right under the Audi logo. Intermittent rain sensing windshield wipers with adjustable speed are also a standard feature. Now moving to the side, you see that this particular model I have here today comes standard with 21 inch 5 double spoke arm design wheels with 275 35 summer tires. Behind the wheel is the set of 15.7 inch internally ventilated brake discs and a huge brake caliber for faster stopping. Brake caliber are painted in black with S8 lettering on it. V8 T badge on defender, side view mirror with LED turn signal indicator, side camera are also integrated into the side view mirror. On top you have the sunroof that can be tilted up or slide open for an open air feeling. Rear wheels are also 21 inches and comes with 275 35 summer tire as well. Behind the rear wheel is the 14-inch internally ventilated brake disc, as well as the power-assisted brake caliber painted in black. It also comes with interlock braking system with electronic brake pressure distribution and brake assist, electronic stability control with secondary collision brake assist and traction control, tire pressure monitoring system are also equipped on all four wheels. Now looking at the back, you quickly notice the iconic LED tail light with integrated LED brake light as well as LED turn signal light. Very beautiful tail light. And there you also have the uh, rear deck spoiler. At the bottom is the rear diffuser that frame the quad chrome tip exhaust. Park assist are also integrated into the rear bumper. And rear view camera is located above the license plate. 
and there you have the S8 badge and there's the third LED brake light on top okay so here I have the remote with uh, S8 badge on the back on the remote I have the lock, trunk release, unlock, panic button and the Audi logo at the bottom now let's open it up and check out the interior so the car does come equipped with smart access key system with the key in your pocket just press the button located on the door handle once to lock after a few seconds place your hand behind the door handle to unlock and all four doors does come with self-close automatic door if you fail to close it it will close for you the exterior color is known as brilliant black featuring a full black leather interior with carbon fiber trims and silver aluminum trims throughout and diamond stitching on the seats throughout very luxurious interior now let's jump into the driver's seat start it up and see how it sounds so with your foot on the brake just push the start button located on the center console to start Now let's switch it into dynamic mode. Now let's pop the hood and see what the 2017 Audi S8 Plus have to offer. Under the hood is a 4 liter TFSI supercharged V8 engine with 8 speed Tiptronic transmission with steering wheel mounted paddle shifter quattro permanent all-wheel drive system with sport differential it is pushing out 605 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque or 553 pound-feet of torque with over boost can hit from 0 to 60 in just 3.7 seconds top speed is electronically limited at 150 mile per hour in the US or 190 mile per hour with dynamic package EPA estimated fuel economy is 15 city 24 highway and 18 combined very impressive engine now let's shut it down and take a detailed look at the interior here is a look at the driver's side door panel it is all black with Alcantara insert in the middle carbon fiber trims and silver aluminum trims there you have the door lock and unlock, two position memory setting, and all four windows are fully automatic, side view mirror controlled, and it does feature folded option. There's the trunk release button, and the door storage compartment. And here you have the opening for more storage compartment. Blind spot monitoring system. S8 aluminum door seal. And there's the pedals. Okay, so here's a closer look at the seat with beautiful uh, diamond stitching around it. Now both front seats feature 22-way adjustable front seat 
including 4-way power limbo support as well as massaging function and that little knob right there is to control the uh, massaging seat as you can see the arrow indicate if you want to move the uh, massaging down right left and you can scroll the knob like such to move around your different options the seat also feature a memory system that recall two store position for the seat steering wheel as well as outside mirror both seats offer heated and ventilated seat option as well the three spoke design steering wheel is fully wrapped in black leather with white contrast stitching and silver accenting trims in the middle looks and feel very sporty it also features multi-function control side by side for your convenience with control for audio voice command as well as the most frequent use function in the vehicle behind the steering wheel you have the up and down pedal shifter so you can put it in manual mode for a more aggressive ride and there you have the cruise control on top you have the turn signal light control and the uh, lane keep assist over to the right you have the windshield wiper control steering wheel does feature power tilt and telescopic steering column and here's a closer look at the instrument cluster it features a large TFT screen in the middle that displays all the information directly in front of the driver in razor sharp, brilliantly clear and high contrast quality and you can now scroll through the function on the uh, via the button located on the steering wheel navigation is not active which uh, I think is very convenient and there you have the odometer trip reset button over to the left hand side you have the driver side air vent with beautiful carbon fiber trims and aluminum trims rear and front fog light light control and there you have the uh, control to the heads up unit display and the uh, brightness to the interior light and there as you can see I can uh, position the heads up uh, display light there you have the lever and a closer look at the dash with the uh, heads up display unit right there so this particular model I have here today comes standard with the Bose surround sound system that features 14 loudspeakers located throughout the cabin that pushes out 630 watts of beautifully balanced audio for both you and your passengers. Now located centrally in the dash you have the retractable screen. You can uh, retract or close it like such if you want and it looks very flush with the cabin with the dash. Look very nice carbon fiber trims on the dash and silver aluminum trims and there you have the uh, traction on and off emergency hazard light round analog clock and the uh, airbag light indicator park assist on and off and the rear sunshade right there and here you have the Audi multimedia interface inside you have the uh, SD card slot SIM card and here's the full zone climate control it does feature heated and ventilated seat for both uh, front passengers and here's the uh, controller to your infotainment system the keypad there you can also scroll it and touch it to move around screen you have navigation menu telephone info back and call button and this knob here you can turn it to move around screen push it down to select and the four button located on the corner indicate the four corner on the screen it is very easy to use there you have the radio media and the volume on and off button very nice sound quality and there's the navigation system the system is super responsive as you can see so on the menu here you have navigation info 
which is the uh, information to the uh, navigation telephone car inside car you have how the drive select you can choose between individual dynamic and different driving mode there's the Audi connect tone radio media and here you have the beautiful looking uh, gear shift lever wrapped in carbon fiber feels really nice in your hand so just push it uh, the button down to and push it down to get into reverse once you're in reverse the rear view camera will appear on the multimeter screen with and over the top camera located on the left it also shows the uh, guidance line to help with a much easier backup and you can uh, choose between different angle views of the camera from the outside very nice and down again for neutral down again for drive and that's when you can also use the uh, steering wheel mounted paddle shifter to change gear and just uh, press the button again and move it all the way up to get into park like such very simple to use there you have the start and stop engine button park and brake two cup holder and you also have the cigarette lighter inside I love the carbon fiber trims on the center console it looks so sporty and luxury at the same time and here you have the center storage compartment very small space here you have the Audi uh, interface connector I wish it uh, could be a little bit bigger though and there's the glove box compartment and once again very beautiful carbon fiber trims and silver aluminum trims on the dash and here's a closer look at the seat once again very nice upholstery material it offers plenty of support as you can see so on top here you have the three button universal garage door opener the light for the rear front light and as you can see there's light uh, LED lightning all around the top on both sides door light button sunglasses holder there's the uh, automatic rear view mirror sun visor mirror Alcantara headliner and here you have the uh, sunroof you can tilt it up for ventilation or slide open for an open air feeling and I really wish that Audi started to integrate the panoramic sunroof in this vehicle you know because it is a flagship vehicle I feel that uh, they need to integrate that panoramic sunroof into this vehicle that way it'll match its uh, competitor all right so now let's check out the rear seat so rear door does uh, offer self close automatic door and there you go as you can see rear seat offers seating for three and it is quite spacious in the back very nice diamond stitching on the back as well beautiful carbon fiber trim on the back seat and here's the look at the rear driver's side door uh, window panel with Alcantara insert carbon fiber and silver aluminum trims door lock and unlock button ashtray and here's the uh, control to your rear sunshade you can control the other side windows and the sunshade as well very convenient you can also uh, raise or close the sunshade and here's the storage compartment both surround sound speaker you also have the S8 aluminum door seal for the rear 
All right, now let's jump into the rear seat and see how it is in the back. But first, let me show you the look to the front cabin. I love the cabin of the S8. Very spacious and very sporty at the same time. Here's the look to the top. And down here you also have carbon fiber trims with dual air vent. Very nice. Two 12 volt power plug and a cigarette lighter in the middle. So I'm 5'8 and I still have about 5 or 6 inches of leg room left with the seats all the way back and here's the rear seat pocket so I'm very comfortable in the back right now and rear seats are very comfortable as well it is very well padded with plenty of support and here's the look to the back center armrest with beautiful carbon fiber trims as well also have full zone climate control and two cup holders Here you have more storage compartment and more storage here. Now this particular S8 model does not come with the long wheelbase. It only comes with a single trim S8. But if you get the A8, it'll come with the A8 long wheel uh, base version, which uh, will get you more leg room in the back. The top here you have the handball and the hook, as well as your light. Also have another air vents there. All right, now let's pop the trunk and see how much cargo space the trunk uh, offer. So the trunk in the Audi S8 offer 14.2 cubic feet of cargo space, which I think is plenty of space for your groceries. And there you have your floor mat more space here on the side your all weather floor mat there you have your net your smaller item and down here you have your spare tires and your tools here you have some hook one on each side and a 12 volt power plug so here you have the lever to open the trunk in case you get locked up to use in case of an uh, emergency and there's the lock and trunk lock button so gas cap is located on the passenger side with the door unlocked just push it in to open it does require premium unleaded fuel only and it holds approximately 21.7 gallons of fuel So overall, the 2017 Audi S8 Plus is a high-performance luxury full-size vehicle with seating for 5 passengers. Rear seating are quite generous with 38.1 inches in headroom, 38.7 inches in legroom, and 57.8 inches in shoulder room. The front cabin are also very spacious with great upholstered material and nicely carbon fiber trims and silver aluminum trims all around. And here is another look to the rear seat. Alright, now let's jump into the front passenger seat and see how it is in the front. So the front seats are very uh, comfortable and very spacious. And once again, the front cabin are very sporty looking. Alright guys, that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed the new 2017 Audi S8 Plus. Go ahead and leave us a comment letting me know uh, what you think about the new Audi S8 Plus compared to other vehicles in its class. And as always, I'm going to take the car out for a short drive just to show you guys how it's like uh, sitting in the driver's seat and how the car perform and stuff. Just going to be a short little drive. So first impression is that this vehicle is super smooth even though it offer plenty of horsepower I still feel like I'm driving in the uh, luxurious car I mean but I don't mind having a luxurious car with that much horsepower very smooth
right now I have the vehicle in dynamic mode and I can really hear that exhaust note and steering wheel are kind of firm when you're in dynamic mode alright guys so don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button I'll see you guys next time